My research relates to pregnancy and I use animal models to gain insights into aspects of human pregnancy. The goal is really to make sure that every child that's born is born healthy and secondarily that the mother who carries the child doesn't have any long-term health consequences following the pregnancy. So we're particularly interested in the commonest human disease, which is called preeclampsia. It's a very severe syndrome where late in pregnancy, the mother gets very high blood pressure and kidney failure. And the treatment is an emergency delivery of the baby, independent of its age. And so we're interested really in the, the cardiovascular consequences in the mother and the baby that's born subsequent to that kind of a, a pregnancy experience. I think overall health, we've learned over the past, well, we've probably known for a long time, but we've learned in a formal sense scientifically that your period of development during pregnancy for the baby is the most critical and most plastic period of life. And that laying down your heart functional parameters, your kidney nephrons, those types of things, the number of islet cells in your pancreas is happening during pregnancy. And so complications that change that modify your lifetime health. And so that's really where the implications are for society that these changes can have major consequences. And for the mother, a pregnancy that is complicated by preeclampsia makes her risk of heart disease subsequently go up about tenfold. So is really to be aware and to monitor and to use known support systems to provide health interventions earlier in people's lives so their health is at a higher level. My research was very basic and restricted to animal models at the time I was appointed a Canada Research Chair. So I've developed programs in women through the clinical colleagues I now have uh, by relocating to Queen's University when I took the chair up. I've been able to um, chair four international meetings. I've been invited to be on scientific planning program committees internationally. I've been on international grant reviews and site visits in Europe and the States. I've been asked to edit a couple of uh, major multi-author publications. So I think it's enhanced my profile. I think adding Canada Research Chair after your name makes you more attractive for groups to seek out to be involved in what they're doing. I've also participated both nationally and internationally in policy workshops to develop women's health throughout the world. And that's, I think, extremely interesting, extremely valuable.